What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Mike Will, the Mike Will Experiment, episode number five. Excited to be here. Today, I'm talking about Dragon's Quest XI. I'm going to get the, for the switch, I'm going to get the kind of already known information out of the way. If you don't already know, there's been a million videos about this, so I'm going to not spend a lot of time on it. You can go to the eShop and get the demo right now. Um, it's free to download. Some people are saying they're getting about 10 hours of gameplay out of this demo, so it's quite long. Um, that's if you know you do all the side quests and uh, all the various things you can do there. Um, you know, you could also rush through it in three to five hours, apparently, from what I've heard. Your game data does carry over into the retail launch. Uh, I believe it's September, late. I think it's the 27th. I'm not 100% sure about that. It's right in that range. Um, should have looked it up, but uh, yeah, it's coming soon. It's about a month away, I know that much. Um, I think it's the 27th, but this game is fantastic. I knew, you know, really I started to to get a love for the Dragon Quest series with Builders 2. Great game. Uh, I put 65 hours into that game, and this game is just a natural progression from there. It's, you know, touted as one of the best JRPGs of this era. Um, so, you know, very excited. I, I dug into it, played it a bit. I really like it. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, you know, I haven't quite finished the demo yet, but I'm, I'm working on that. Now, some things about the demo. Um, I want to talk about a couple of things real quick before I go into the main point of this video, which is about the sales of this game and what they will be, my prediction. But before we get into that, I do want to talk about my impressions. Um, I've been, you know, looking at videos, looking at Reddit, kind of seeing what the community is saying about this game. Um, there's a lot of people that are, you know, oh, I got it on PS4 for $11. It's the superior version. The PC is a superior version. 100% true, by the way. Um, if you have those platforms and you're not a portable gamer, I highly recommend getting it on PC or PS4, to be completely honest. Now, if you already own that version and you're intrigued by the new features, such as the orchestrated soundtrack, or um, they're also added a 2D mode, that may be worth a double dip for $50 off Amazon, but I agree that is kind of iffy. Um, even though it is the definitive version, you know, maybe you can sell the PS4 version and, and get this version, great. Um, if not, you know, but I don't own this game. I know you, can, you could have got it, I think it was like $11 on Steam, $11 on PS4 Network digitally. I mean, this game was dirt cheap, I think, in 2018 Christmas time. They were blowing this game out. Um, so, you know, is it worth this upgrade to the S game? You know, it really depends. Um, the graphics aren't as good, but I'll be honest, when I was playing it, you know, I've heard some people say, oh, the lighting isn't that good. I think it looks great. The moonlighting is fantastic. Um, you know, at night you get this kind of shimmer sheen. There's shimmering too, but you, know, you get a sheen from the moonlight and it's just kind of intoxicating, to be honest. It's very really sucks you into the environment. Um, you know, the character faces are a little blurry and handheld. Um, I haven't tested it yet on the big screen. I'm getting ready to do that after this video. I'm super excited to try it on the, with the docked mode. Um, but so far I've only played in portable and I can say that I'm very impressed. You know, there are times where you go, eh, you know, that texture, but Xenoblade Chronicles 2, which is a similar level of game had way more of those moments to me than this game. Now I've played 130 hours of Xenoblade, so that's not really fair. I've only played three hours of this, but just even from that initial three hours, I can tell that it's a much more polished experience than that. It runs very, very smooth, keeps 30 frames a second. I know that, you know, later on in the game, from what I've heard, there can be dips when there's, you know, big scenes on screen, um, like any other game on the Switch. Um, so if you're used to Switch games, I think this is going to exceed your expectations. I play my games 95% on the Nintendo Switch and then 5% on the Xbox One X. I don't get a lot of time in front of the screen. I mostly play in my bed, you know, laying down, kicking on the couch. Uh, my wife plays Fallout 76 or we watch a movie, so I really don't play on the screen that often. I do on occasion, but I mostly am used to how it looks on the handheld. So how games look on the handheld. So when I saw this game, I was absolutely blown away. It looks amazing. So if you're used to the handheld games, you're not used to a PC or Xbox One X. I mean, if you're used to that 4K crisp 1080p, you know, and that's what you want, don't get this, because it's not that. But if you've been cool playing Skyrim on your Nintendo Switch or Doom 
or any of those other ports that you know kind of brought the full experience the little bit of sacrifice this is no different i would rate this above doom though i think this is along the skyrim level i played the crap out of the skyrim on the switch it's fantastic so um definitely buy this game i can't recommend it enough um, especially if you've never played it 49 might seem steep but they did add a bunch of stuff with the you know the 2d mode and um the orchestrated soundtrack and it's just to me it's a no-brainer i'm an rpg guy um, but what i'm here to talk about i just wanted to, you know that's kind of the stuff that everybody else has already mentioned what this video is about is about the sales now i was doing some research today dragon quest 11 has sold 4 million copies right 3.2 million copies were sold in japan so it's safe to say that the japanese market has been pretty much flooded with it um, but they only sold 800,000. I couldn't really find data that suggested what of the 800,000 in the West was PC and what of the 800,000 in the West was PS4. I'm going to guess 60, 70, 30. Uh, maybe they sold 500,000 on the PS4 and 300,000 on the PC or, you know, 600, 200, you know, it's somewhere in that range. It, there's no exact data, unfortunately. But the consensus is from, you know, various sources that it sold 800,000 copies in the West. Now, I 100% believe that the Nintendo Switch version is going to outsell the PS4 and PC versions combined easily. Um, why do I think this? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Um, you know, you have the uh, hero being in Smash. That's going to bring hundreds of thousands, I would say, of new customers to this franchise. It's very smart. I'm not a big Smash guy. I like it. Um, I don't get the DLC. I played probably 20, 30 hours and I was done. Um, that's not to begrudge Smash. It's a fantastic game. Um, it's very well made. Lots of love poured into that game. I mean, they poured over that game. I mean, it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, very impressive. But, uh, you know, they added the hero. People love playing the hero. I guess he's kind of OP. So I think those people are going to want to dive into this game because... They want to see the game where he comes from. So I think that's going to sell copies. You've got that factor. Um, also the fact that RPGs and Square Enix RPGs specifically have done very, very, very well on the Switch. And when I say very well, I mean Octopath Traveler broke a million. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 broke a million. Not a Square game, but another RPG of the massive scope. Uh, Breath of the Wild sold 10 million. Yeah, it's a mainstream game, but, you know, the potential there. I mean, look at Final Fantasy VII. They released that, it topped the eShop charts for week after week after week. Same with Final Fantasy IX, topped the charts for week after week. So I feel like Square is showing lots of love to the Switch. I don't know if they get enough credit for that, really. I know this was one of the games that was initially announced when the Switch was still the NX. I am aware of that. Um, I do know that this is one of the products that was first announced, well, announced right alongside Zelda. It took forever to come out, but when you play it, you'll understand why it's very much in the vein of Breath of the Wild, not as a game, but as a passion and how much work went into it, especially when you guys see the 2D mode. I haven't seen it either. I've only seen footage of it. I can't wait to see that. That's going to be awesome. And you can switch to it from any save point, too. And I don't know how quite that works with your save. And, you know, there's still, there's not a lot of information out there yet, just in the sense of no one's played the full game, except for, you know, there's a few people that have put up a limited amount of coverage. So we don't know too much on that end. I believe, though, that when you do that, it, it does start you over from the same part, but I can't remember if you can switch back and forth. Either way, the, the fact that it has a 2D mode is fantastic. That's going to draw people in. Um, a lot of people love that the 2D is back. You know, look at Octopath, Tra Octopath Traveler. You know, that did really, really well. Um, so I think this game in North America on the Switch will sell between 1.5 and 2 million copies easily. Um, you know, it could be... I don't think it'll be an evergreen title that sells, keeps selling like, you know, your Mario Karts and things like that. Third party titles don't tend to fit that bill. Um, it will plateau because there's only so much of a, of a following for it. But I think this is the breakout game. Hurry here first. This is what's going to break, the Switch version specifically is what's going to break Dragon Quest in the West. That's what I think. Um, I think Smash started the ball rolling and kind of brought it to attention. I think this is going to finish the job. Um, Dragon Quest needs to come to the U.S. because it's a fantastic franchise. Um, it's got a lot of history. You know, there's so much good characters. Uh, Kira Toriyama, the Dragon Ball Z guy, does the characters. They're fantastic. They have lots of life and, and personality. So it's just 
an amazing game. And I do believe that the Switch version will be the number one seller um, within six months. And I do believe it will sell between 1.5 and 2 million copies. Um, that's what they released the sales. Uh, Square's pretty stingy about that. It's hard to find data for their games sometimes. I think they protect that um, to make sure that they're not, you know, um, people aren't like talking about how much this sells or that sells. But this is a make or break game for the West, for this series to continue to come day and date to the US like Final Fantasy does. This needs to sell, and I think that it will sell. I believe that it will sell those 1.5 to 2 million copies quite easily, actually. Um, I think this will reach a million before the year end. And it's got a lot of competition. I mean, it's got Luigi's Mansion, Zelda Link to the Past, um, or not Link to the Past, the Game Boy one. Can't think of it at the top of my head right now, but the, the new Zelda that's coming out. Um, you know, you've got the, the Super Nintendo games that's coming out. So there's a lot of, potentially, there's a lot of competition. Um, you know, you've got Astral Chain. So there's just a bunch of stuff coming out, like rapid fire in September. Um, so, and then, you know, obviously Pokemon follows that. So it does have its work cut out for it, but I would say that it's an RPG. RPG fans and The Witcher 3 too, which is another game that I think will sell a million copies on Switch pretty easily. Um, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, props to CG, CD Projekt Red on that game because that game looks crazy good on Switch too. Um, and again, it doesn't look as good as it does on your TV, etc. But if you want that experience playing it in your lap, in your bed, I mean, you can't get that anywhere else other than the Switch. Um, but I do think, it, you know, we'll have some competition, but I do believe that it will reach that 1.5 to 2 million um, rather easily. Uh, it will reach a million, and I think it will do that before the end of the year. Um, so that's my thoughts. I just, I really hadn't heard that perspective about, um, you know, I, I try to bring, with my content, I try to bring stuff that I can't really stay on top of the news cycle. I do this, you know, as a hobby in my free time. I get maybe one day to pump these videos out, you know, maybe a couple hours to, to sit down and record these videos. So it's hard for me to stay on top of daily news. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you about the demo and about the features. I, I went over that a little bit, but I mostly want to talk about the sales. That's the main point of this video. Um, that I don't hear a lot of people really talking about is how well it's going to sell. You know, they're talking about what it is, it's coming out, and the graphics, are they good or bad, but they're not hitting the main points. Will this outsell the PS4 version? 100% absolutely. And that's going to be an eye-opener for Square Enix, too. And that's exciting because I feel like Square will continue to bring day and date releases to the Switch. This obviously was not one, but it's, it's it, technically it's a new release because it has the S, it has the 2D mode, it's its own thing. It's not coming on any other consoles, so technically it's day and date. Um, but you know, in the future, I'd love to see Final Fantasy 16 day and date. Um, and I think this, if you go out and buy this, which I recommend you do, even if you're double dipping, you are telling Square, look, that's why I'm buying The Witcher, I'm double dipping on that. You know, I don't own the expansions, but I'm double dipping because I want CD Projekt Red to be like, hey, maybe we can port Cyberpunk next, you know, and that's probably pie in the sky, but that's besides the point. It makes them realize that they can sell the same amount of copies, if not more, depending on what the game is. Now, it's, The Witcher 3 is not going to outsell the Xbox version, let's, let's be real about that, but I think this will easily outsell the PS4 version because it's just not, now in North America, keep in mind it will not outsell in Japan. Will it sell in Japan? Absolutely, but I don't, I don't really have a prediction about the Japanese sales. Um, they sold 3.2 million copies over there. I feel like they've played this game. Um, it does have the 2D mode, so yes, maybe they'll sell a million, but I don't think it'll be like what it'll be here. I think it will outsell the Japan, the Japan release, and I think it will outsell the PS4 release in North America. I don't know about Europe or you know anywhere else. I'm not sure how big Dragon Quest are in those areas. So keep in mind, this prediction is North American copies, 1.5 to 2 million. So I'm gonna do a follow-up video when uh, you know we start to, if we ever see sales figures, they're pretty stingy about those, but as soon as we can get confirmation, as soon as this game tops the eShop for a couple weeks, you may see me come back and go, what did I tell you, this game's gonna blow up. So definitely get your pre-order in on Amazon, uh, wherever your favorite retailer is. This game is absolutely dynamite. But this is Mike Will, the Mike Will Experiment. Experiment along with me, episode five. You guys take care.